Good morning. I'm F. King Alexander, LSU president, and it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to the 292nd commencement ceremony at LSU. To open our ceremony, I invite you please to rise and stay standing for our national anthem sung by Miss Laura Brown, who is graduating today with a Doctor of Musical Arts. It, and Miss Brown is accompanied by our LSU Brass Quintet under the direction of Dr. Joseph Skellen. <laughs> At this time, I ask that you join me in a moment of silence in honor of our LSU students, faculty, and staff who passed away during this past year. Thank you. Please be seated. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce just a few members of our platform party. Governor John Bell Edwards, our commencement speaker. <laughs> Mr. Glenn Amateur, LSU Board of Supervisors. <laughs> Ms. Valencia Sarpy Jones, LSU Board of Supervisors. <laughs> Dr. Kevin Cope, President of our Faculty Senate. <laughs> Mr. Jason Bado, Incoming Student Government President. <laughs> Mr. Zach Fairclough, Past President, Student Government, and a graduating senior today. <laughs> Ms. Michelle Lowry, President Elect of the Staff Senate. <laughs> Other members of our leadership team Dr. Rick Kobeck, Executive Vice President and Provost. Dr. Jason Drotti, Vice President for Strategic Communications. Dr. Kurt Kebler, Vice President of Student Life and Enrollment. Dr. Constantine Sanakis, Associate Vice President of Research and Economic Development. Dr. Dan Lizell, Executive Vice President for Finance and Administration. Dr. Bill Richardson, Vice President for the LSU Ag Center and, and Dean of the College of Agriculture. <laughs> Dr. Isaiah Warner, Vice President for Strategic Initiatives. <laughs> Dr. Jane Cassidy, Senior Vice Provost. <laughs> Dr. Matt Lee, Vice Provost. <laughs> Dr. Derek Rivarez, Vice Provost. And Mr. Cliff Fenoy, President and CEO of the LSU Alumni Association. <laughs> the road to graduation isn't traveled alone. There are many individuals in a student's life who help pave the way to success, many of whom are tied closely to LSU, many of whom are also a part of the students' lives outside the classroom and outside the campus, and our university guests today. First, I'd like to recognize the parents grandparents, spouses, children, and other honored guests 
here to celebrate this wonderful achievement. We applaud you, not only for your loved one's success, but your tireless support along the way to this important educational milestone. Today's commencement marks one, of, one step completing a journey of a lifetime that they will be able to use for a lifetime. But it also is the beginning of a new adventure for you and your graduate. Please stand if you are a parent, grandparent, spouse, family member, or special guest so that you can be specially recognized in today's ceremony. Our faculty represent another critical guidepost along the road to graduation. University faculty aren't just exceptional scholars, scientists, and researchers. They also are skilled educators committed to providing an educational foundation to every student who crosses their path. At this point, I ask that our faculty please stand to be specially recognized by our audience and our graduates. This is the first of many ceremonies throughout this day that will celebrate an important graduating class, the class of 2016 and 17. Here are some interesting statistics about this class that we all can be proud of. The total number of graduates in this class are, will, will exemplify the largest graduating class in the history of LSU. the largest undergraduate and graduate graduating class in the history of LSU. The largest African-American graduating class in the history of LSU. The largest female graduating class in the history of LSU. The largest Hispanic graduating class in the history of LSU. The largest Pell Grant first generating grad, uh, first generation graduates in the history of LSU. And if you are a first generation graduate, the first in your family to graduate, would you please stand to be specially recognized? It's also the largest veteran graduating class in the history of LSU. And if you are a veteran graduating today, would you please stand to be specially recognized or a commissioned officer going into our armed forces. This is truly an impressive class of graduates. I'd like to recognize one graduate in particular, Zach Faircloth, immediate vice or immediate past president of the LSU student body, who will share a few parting words on behalf of this significant and historic class of graduates. Zach. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. It's early, I know, it's early. Well, if I've learned one thing at LSU, it's that I, I still have a whole lot to learn. So instead of offering some advice uh, about how to live your life courtesy of a 23-year-old graduating undergrad, uh, I, I thought I'd give you uh, a little bit of insight on the relationship we have with LSU and, and the unique perspective that only an LSU grad can offer about the institution. Universities are a strange place, and LSU in particular is difficult to explain from the outside looking in. And while every individual seems to grow and change during their time at LSU, much of the wonderful aspects of LSU remain the same from year to year. In the heat of August, freshmen will flock to their dorms once again to meet their new roommates. On August 21st, a freshman from a high school of 30 students will sit down in Dr. Wischusen's thousand person biology class, meet some of their newest best friends. On Saturday, September 9th, they'll pile into Tiger Stadium for the first home opener of the year <clears throat> and sing Colin Baton Rouge at the top of their lungs. The next week, another student will run across campus and meet their new best friend, the Himes Testing Center. And then another student will stumble upon the subway in the basement of Foster and tell everyone about it and be a legend for being the first one to discover it. Another student will change their major three times in the first semester, like I did. And then, of course, one student will accidentally spend every single dollar of their Paul points in the first month 
and be left to eat in the dining hall for every meal for the rest of eternity. Yes, history will repeat itself. But here's what we see from the inside looking out. It looks different. We come to campus for different reasons. Some had a parent or sibling that was an LSU Tiger maybe here today. Some love the ability to have a flagship experience really close to home. Others liked having the flagship experience a little bit further away from home. Some came on a campus tour and fell in love with it. Some met a faculty member that was ready to change their life. And we all came here for different reasons, but chances are we stayed at LSU for a very similar one. We felt like someone cared about our personal success. Immediately, we found people invested in seeing us succeed in and out of the classroom. For me, that was Dr. Drew Arms, Dr. Dave Kirpius, Dean Earl, Provost Kobach, Dr. Kepler, President Alexander, Dr. Wayne Parent, Ms. Michelle Lowry, Ms. Angela Guillory, Dr. Jason Drotty, Mr. Zach Lemoyne, and Ms. Ashley Arsenault. And I want to urge you all now to think about who those people are for you that, that got you this far. Uh, and if you haven't already, say thank you to those people because we wouldn't be as successful as we are right now without them. So to continue on what it's like to be an LSU student departing and, and giving you an inside out look, because of all these people investing their time and energy into us, we developed this very human need to repay the favor. And it's to be a strong return on investment. And that doesn't necessarily show itself in a small percentage point change in a graduation rate. Instead, we start to leave a legacy and make a mark on the institution. We become builders of our own identity of the people around us and of LSU itself. We tried to discover something new in the lab. We joined organizations and sought leadership positions. We pulled the all-nighter to get the A-plus instead of the A. We mentored others in hopes that they had the same experience. We studied abroad to expand our horizons and understand the world. We spent extra hours working a job to balance paying the rent and making the grades. We made new friends, friends we otherwise wouldn't have met. We volunteered and served others because we love our community. Most importantly, we pushed ourselves outside of our comfort zone to emerge as stronger, more well-rounded individuals in just four or five short years. LSU parents, family, and mentors, we hope our work and legacy we leave has made you proud. And so from the class of 2017, I ask that you remember us. It might be easier than you think. As a matter of fact, I'm willing to bet that the class of 2017 is the most memorable yet. <clears throat> We're a resilient class. Not so quietly, we took the brunt of the plus minus grading, grading implementation. Yeah, everyone laughs at that one. Uh, for future generations, and, and we're glad to do that for y'all. Uh, we're the same group that saw 16 budget cuts in the last nine years, an unprecedented tops cut just before our senior year. And that was just the beginning. The summer preceding our final year was a challenge far beyond what any of us could have expected. <clears throat> When over 20% of LSU faculty and staff lost their homes, this class took action. We overstocked the LSU food pantry for the first time in its history. We raised tens of thousands of dollars, and we donated even more time. We believe in resiliency and compassion for one's fellow man. We're also builders. We believe in growth. We understand the value of growing the institution and leaving our mark in that way. So I want to offer just quickly how much the physical campus has changed since the first time we stepped on. We have a brand new Olin Career Center. We have a brand new bookstore. We dedicated a new women's center. We dedicated the new soon-to-be Clarence L. Barney Jr. African American Cultural Center. We dedicated the new William Brookshire Veterans Center. The new Animal and Food Sciences Lab. We renovated the French House and the Honors College got a new name, the Ogden Honors College. We have a new tennis and gymnastics facility. We have the new Patrick F. Taylor Engineering Building, which is now the largest academic engineering building in the entire country. We have the new UREC, which tops any health and wellness center in a thousand mile radius. And we did manage just a few library renovations, but I was talking to the governor and he said a major renovation's coming soon, don't worry. Yes. Yes, we grew tremendously the class of 2017. But in our time, though, the most important thing is we developed a passion and a love for being a tiger. And that, that was graduate students helping to discover gravitational waves. We hosted the first presidential symposium on campus. And as a matter of fact, we're President Alexander's first graduating class. He started back with us in 2013. We became the largest and most diverse graduating class, as you heard. And this class's accomplishments are just miles and miles long individually. But I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that we brought in the new football coach and the new Tiger this summer. Yes, the class of 2017 has left quite a legacy, and every individual here knows he or she, what legacy he or she will leave. But importantly, we're going to remember LSU as well. 
because at LSU we developed this uniquely Louisiana appreciation for the little moments in life. And as a result, we're always going to remember walking through the quad on that typical, iconic, picture-worthy day. We're going to remember the feeling you get when the football team runs out and we scream that it never rained in Death Valley even though it was in a downpour. We're going to remember the satisfaction of pulling the all-nighter and getting the grade we needed. Seeing the stress relief dogs in Middleton, Middleton during finals week. Sitting next to an athlete superstar in a class who's just as great a person and a student as they are an athlete. Welling up with pride when you quietly sing along with the alma mater blaring from the bell tower at noon every day. Heckling the poor right fielder at LSU baseball games. Seeing some older man with a pretty good jump shot at the gym, then realizing that's the president of our university. He's just another tiger playing basketball. Going to the Living Expo to collect enough t-shirts and cups to get you through the year because we didn't have time to do laundry or dishes. Taking a lap around the LSU lakes just to get away for a while and nervously passing through Free Speech Alley, especially during those crazy SG campaigns. I hated those. <laughs> Having someone yell, go Tigers at you just because you're wearing purple and gold. Not remembering the names of people because you've met so many, but you smile anyway. And the friends you've met that'll stand alongside you for the rest of your life. And today, class of 2017, when you turn your tassel, know that LSU will remember you as well. We've all played a part in contributing to the story that is LSU, and those that came before us laid the groundwork, and those that come after us will add to it as well. But as LSU mo moves on to its next chapter, I'm confident that ours is one that will always be remembered. Tigers of 2017, as we walk across the stage today and into the next phase of life, let's be thankful for the time we had here at LSU. Just as we are leaving a legacy behind here at LSU, a piece of LSU will always be with us. Thank you and go Tigers. Thank you, Zach. We appreciate all you have done for LSU and for our student body. Congratulations on your graduation today. Now I'd like to just briefly address this, the, our graduates today prior to introducing our governor as our keynote speaker. On this special day, it's an honor for me to stand before you and officially recognize this important milestone. Ceremonies such as this, which began over 600 years ago, were created to signify to society that an individual had mastered an academic field of study. Fast forward to today, where we are not only celebrate your academic mastery, but we present the, your accomplishments to the community, to the state of Louisiana, to this great nation. Congratulations, graduates. Let us take a moment to explore, however, that this achievement does not belong solely to the graduates sitting before us today. Though it's, it is reflective of their hard work and dedication, it is also belongs to all the family members that I mentioned earlier who have sacrificed so much to see this day arrive. It belongs to the citizens of Louisiana, our outstanding faculty and staff, our over 2,050 LSU alumni and friends around the globe who believe in your capacity to make society a much more vibrant, intellectually stimulating, and sustainable environment. I'd like to for to you to take a moment to look around you at your fellow classmates and keep in mind as you do so, as of today, you will be among this nation's top 30 to 32nd percentile in educational success. Even more importantly, however, as of today, you will be among the world's top 7th percentile in academic achievement and educational success. In other words, the attainment of a college degree places you in the enviable position, both right here in the United States and around the world. For our graduate students, the figures are even more selective and even more impressive throughout the world. The reason I share these facts with you are twofold. First, to remind you of what a significant accomplishment this truly is for you as individuals and for your family members. After today, your life will truly be changed. Second, more importantly, however, it is to remind you of your responsibility and obligation to all those in need of similar educational opportunities that would undoubtedly enable them to maximize their potential, both as individuals and global citizens. As one of the world's most educated citizens, with the greatest potential to help others, you now are being handed the mantle enabling you to provide widespread hope and global opportunity. Through your individual and collective intellectual ability, you are needed to free others from the bonds of human ignorance and prejudice. You are needed to make the right societal choices that expand prosperity and reduce inequality. You are needed to provide the ideas that will help feed and shelter an expanding world population 
and to build the industries and economies of tomorrow. You are needed to ensure that the next generation of students and children have more, not less, educational and economic opportunity than previous generations have enjoyed, no matter if you live in Louisiana, Los Angeles, London, or Laos. In short, you are needed to make the world a much better place. You have the tools, the skills, and the talents to do so, and the benefits you reap can impact not only your life, but have ripple effects around this globe. Every one of us here today has great faith in you and what we know you can accomplish for so many others with the wisdom that you have. The LSU family wishes you the best of luck in these endeavors and will take great pride in all that you accomplish and all you achieve. And remember that you are never alone in this path toward greater success and global impact. Your alma mater forever stands strong behind you. Congratulations, graduates. On January 11, 2016, Governor John Bell Edwards was sworn in as the 56th governor of the state of Louisiana. The governor grew up in Amid, Louisiana, and is one of eight children. With four parish sheriffs in his lineage, he has learned the importance of public service at a very early age. Governor Edwards graduated in 1988 from the United States Military Academy in West Point. The governor served eight years as an Ar Ar Army Airborne Ranger on active duty with the United States Army and commanded a rifle company in the 82nd Airborne Division at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. He went on to graduate in the Order of the Coif from LSU's Law Center as a graduate of LSU and set up a civil law practice in his hometown of Amit. In 2008, he was elected to the Louisiana House of Representatives from District 72, where he served for eight years until the voters of Louisiana elected him governor in November of 2008. 15. At this time, would you give a welcome, Governor John Bell Edwards, back to his alma mater and give him a great LSU welcome, Governor. Thank you. For being here. Thank you all and good morning. Thank you, members of the class of 2017, members of the Board of Supervisors, President Alexander, faculty, parents, friends, everybody here. Congratulations on reaching this momentous occasion. I think it's important just to take a moment and thank all the moms and the dads and the aunts and the uncles or grandparents, everybody that has supported the graduates of the class of 2017, financially or otherwise, over the past four, five, six, seven years, however long it might have taken. The first thing I want you to do when we leave, however, for those of you who can, is to give your mama a big hug and tell her how much you appreciate her because Mother's Day may not come until Sunday, but this is her day too. And to the graduates today who are also moms, happy Mother's Day to you as well. I know it's not easy balancing the responsibilities of being a parent as well as a student. In fact, I was a father to two children whenever I started law school here at LSU. But through a lot of hard work, and I know sleepless nights, you've made it here today, and now you've got this special moment to cherish and to share with your family. I also want to thank President Alexander and the incredible faculty and staff here at LSU. You all have done an excellent job under difficult circumstances. In fact, circumstances that were more difficult than they needed to be, quite frankly more difficult than they should have been. But you've ensured that everyone who enters the gates of LSU has access to a high quality education and all of the opportunity that that then affords them. And yes, they've been known to have a good time as well. You know, one of my favorite parts of attending graduation ceremonies is to be able to look at all of the members of the graduating class and see a true snapshot of Louisiana's future. Well, I want you to know our future looks very, very bright from here. Uh, as King mentioned, it's noteworthy that this class has broken numerous records this year. He told you the largest graduating class in the history of the university, but it's also the most diverse class 
in the history of the university in terms of the number of women, African American, Asian Americans, Hispanics, American Indians. There are 53 parishes represented in this class from Louisiana, 50 different countries, and at least 47 states, plus the District of Columbia. Having the opportunity to deliver this commencement address at LSU is certainly a privilege for me as it would be for any Louisianan. And as much of an honor as it is to stand here as governor of the great state of Louisiana, the truth is I had my eyes on another job, one that pays much better, by the way. But they gave that job not to a redneck from North Tanchebo Parish, but to a Cajun from South Lafouche. Yeah, his name is Orgeron. <laughs> I've actually gotten to know Coach O pretty well over the last year, and I could not be happier uh, that the Tigers are going to be led by someone who loves this state and LSU football as much as I do. And I'm excited about the season to come, but I'm excited about everything associated with this university. Now, with respect to Coach O's job, to be honest, his job may actually be the only one in the state that's more scrutinized more challenging than mine. After all, on a Saturday night here at LSU in Tiger Stadium, there are actually more people in that stadium than live in 49 of our 64 parishes. And everybody who's not at the game is watching it on TV. And any time we don't pick up a first down, every one of them would have called a different play that would have worked. I know how that goes. But there's somebody else, though, who would probably disagree that that's the best job in Louisiana or even the best job at LSU. She would tell you that being the head coach of the LSU gymnastics team is the best job at LSU. <laughs> coach D.D. Bro, the state of Louisiana couldn't be prouder of everything that you and your team accomplished this year. An SEC championship, second place in the nation, and you finished your 40th year at LSU as a coach by winning the National Coach of the Year Award. Congratulations to you, Dee Dee. And I want to congratulate all the women on that team. I actually had an opportunity to come to this arena twice and watch them compete. And I don't know the first thing about gymnastics, but I knew that our team was better than the other team. <laughs> and and the, the judges actually agreed with that because we beat Georgia and Florida here. But I want to congratulate the women on that team. And wherever the road takes them from here, I know that they're going to find that the next chapter of their life will have more meaning because of the motto that still rings across this campus, all heart. That was the motto of the gymnastics team. And that's really the message I want to share with you all today. Living with heart, with purpose, and with passion. Graduation day is the time to celebrate and appreciate the hard work that got you to this point. For most, it should be a relief. No more waiting in line at the testing center. No more basement of locket. For those receiving a doctorate degree today, no more sleepless nights working on your dissertation. You've made it. And in one sense, it's over. But you know, that in itself can be very bittersweet. While all of you are sitting here today looking towards the future, I imagine that some of you are already reminiscing on the past. You're thinking about the first time you were here at the PMAC as a wide-eyed freshman on orientation day. Maybe you're trying to calculate how many hours you spent in class versus how many hours you spent at the chimes or perhaps bogeys. You know, maybe you're just longing for one more night in Tiger Stadium, standing on the bleachers next to your friends in the student section, performing along with the golden band of Tigerland and the Golden Girls as you sing and dance and enjoy yourselves. You know, it may have started as their rallying cry, but it's not just the LSU gymnastics team that put all heart into their time at LSU. And when it comes to academics, some of the most innovative 
groundbreaking ideas actually come from students who were determined to find purpose in everything they did while they were here at LSU. Blake Kruger is one of those students. Blake's family came to America from South Africa when his father attended LSU to pursue his PhD. And Blake certainly caught the tiger spirit because he graduates today having participated in the Louisiana Service and Leadership Scholars Program, studied abroad, and used his studies to promote health benefits for, Louisian for Louisianans in traditionally underrepresented communities. He carried out an ambitious research project on the treatment of HIV patients infected with Kaposi's sarcoma. And did I mention that this is only his bachelor's degree? Now think about that. He has his sights on attending medical school to combat infectious diseases in clinics globally. And Blake, I have no doubt that you'll achieve your goal. And I also hope the LSU, LSU legacy will continue in your family. He certainly exhibited a lot of heart. I want to take a moment to recognize every student family here that was impacted by last year's historic flood. Starting your senior year of college is probably scary enough, but you have faced an additional cloud of uncertainty as floodwaters invaded parts of campus and many of your homes, not just here in Baton Rouge, but around the state. Seven trillion gallons of rain fell in South Louisiana in August in 48 hours. That was 24 inches of rain in this area in 48 hours. And let me put that in perspective to you. It takes the Mississippi River 18 days to discharge that much water to the Gulf of Mexico, but that's what fell in Louisiana in two days. It's not easy to overcome, but you did. And now you're here at the end of the school year, moving on to greater things, and that takes heart. You know, I've talked to a lot of people over the last 16 months as governor about the resiliency and the goodness of Louisiana's people, how we bond together to overcome the most difficult circumstances and come out stronger than ever. That is true of the students of this campus as well. In the aftermath of the flood, I entrusted LSU to house a medical need shelter for citizens seeking refuge, as well as treatment for chronic illnesses, disabilities, or nursing care. When the Department of Health got here to set up shelter in the Carl Maddox Fieldhouse, students at LSU who were themselves moving back into their dorm rooms or their apartments to start their fall semester were there waiting to help folks from the Department of Health to set up that special needs shelter. And they were instrumental in getting it ready and accepting people from all over the region, the most fragile people who were affected by that storm. Well, if that's not all heart, I don't know what is. And some of you may have faced financial uncertainty this year, and Zach mentioned just a moment ago, as you watched and worried whether the legislature would fully fund TOPS, eliminate the shortfall, and the shortfall that we had was a burden that none of you should have had to face. And in fact, this class has more top students than any other class in the history of the program. That too is something that we should celebrate. But we should also rededicate ourselves to making sure that we responsibly fund tops completely without a shortfall this year. And I hope you'll join me in fighting for education more broadly as we invest in our future so that the students who follow the class of 2017 will have even more opportunities. In fact, one of the very primary reasons that I ran for governor was because year after year, I saw funding for higher education in our state being slashed. And I talked to young people all over our state whose eyes were wandering to other states, states that didn't have the largest disinvestment in state support for higher education in the country like we did states that weren't balancing their budgets on the backs of students as ours was. But you stayed. You believed in Louisiana, and for that I'm grateful because I believe in Louisiana too, and I believe in each and every one of you because you have heart. Louisiana is better because of you. 
You are an indispensable part of what makes the great state of Louisiana great. This past year, we worked incredibly hard to shield higher education from more deep cuts, and we're going to keep working until people from other states are as envious of our classrooms as they are of our tailgates. No matter where you go in Louisiana or the world, although I hope you choose to stay right here, I encourage you to be not only an advocate for LSU, but for a champion, but also be a champion for our state. And while I didn't attend LSU for my undergraduate degree, I literally jumped at the opportunity to come home and attend LSU for law school when I did get out of the Army. You know, having gone to West Point, the military legacy that is the backbone of this university made my time here even more special. In fact, when LSU's first superintendent, General William Tecumseh Sherman, began to build the old war school, that would one day become LSU, he said they wanted to, that he wanted to keep as near the standard of West Point as possible at LSU. Now, I suspect most of you wouldn't have been too happy with some of those standards because we actually went to class on Saturdays after our room got inspected and we got into trouble so that when class was over, uh, we were generally being punished in one form or another or parading uh, for the rest of the afternoon. The school has changed over time, but you can still feel the lingering presence of those old traditions throughout campus. I would encourage you to take a fresh look at the Memorial Tower the next time you're in that vicinity. Make sure you know who Troy H. Middleton was. Make sure you know who Alex Box was. And there's so many other names, great names of heroes associated with LSU. There's something truly great about this place, and it gets in your blood. And for many of us, and I know it did for me, that happens at a young age, and it stays there. And I know that you feel the same way. Don't lose that feeling. Never forget LSU and all the people that you've met and the things that you've experienced. Your love for this institution and for one, and for one another should never fade. And as scary as it may be today to walk out of the PMAC, and into the real world, I know that you're ready because of the education that you've received here, because that is the power and the promise of education. LSU has given you the knowledge and the perspective that you need to better understand the world and then enjoy a better quality of life that would not have been possible for you otherwise. And life will not always be easy. That's why it's gonna take heart to succeed, to overcome life, life's obstacles. And when I talk about success, I'm not just talking about material things. I'm not just talking about creation of wealth, but the kind of success that is also measured by your ability to make a positive difference in your communities in the world. And the degrees being conferred upon you today empower you to do just that. And if you are empowered to make a positive difference in the world, I believe that you are obligated to then do that. And so I hope that that will be your attitude as well. So please take advantage of this opportunity. Find ways great and small to make our world a better place. The spirit of LSU will live inside of you forever. I hope you use that spirit to do good and to dream big. Congratulations, class of 2017. Forever LSU. God bless each of you, and in the words of Coach Orgeron, go Tigers. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Governor Edwards. We are indeed honored that you could be with us here today. We have made, you have made this commencement a more memorable commencement for our graduates here today, and we thank you for sharing it with us and for supporting this great university each and every day as governor. Now, students, and you're still students for a little bit, uh, are you ready to graduate? 
uh, family members, friends, loved ones, are you ready for them to graduate? <laughs> we will now confer the baccalaureate, advanced, and professional degrees. I ask Executive Vice Pro President and Provost Rick Kobeck to introduce the Honors College graduates and the academic deans. I invite Dean Jonathan Earl of the Ogden Honors College to acknowledge the graduating seniors from that college. Would the seniors of the Honors College and their faculty advisors please stand? Provost Kobeck, all these students have challenged themselves by participating in the Honors College curriculum during their academic careers at LSU. Students wearing the white cords are graduating with upper division honors in their respective majors. Students wearing bachelor's hoods are graduating with college honors granted by the university. I'm pleased to commend these students and their faculty advisors to you and to the university community. I'm pleased to recognize the accomplishments of these students and the dedication and commitment of the faculty advisors. They'll graduate with upper division or college honors as appropriate with the degrees in their respective colleges. These students and their faculty advisors are a sterling example of the quality of LSU's undergraduate programs and the faculty commitment to the development of our students. Please join me again in applauding our stellar scholars. Please be seated. I would now like to do, introduce the academic deans representing the colleges and schools that are conferring the degrees today. Deans, please stand as your name is called and remain standing until the bachelor's degrees have been conferred. Dean William Richardson, College of Agriculture. Dean Alkis Talakis, College of Art and Design. Associate Dean Helmut Schneider, E.J. Orso College of Business. Dean Chris Delia, College of Coast and the Environment. Dean Judy Warnock, College of Engineering. Dean Michelle Massey, The Graduate College. Dean Damon Andrew, College of Human Sciences and Education. Dean Stacy Haney, College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Dean Thomas Galligan, Paul M. Haber Law Center. Dean Jerry Seppos, Manship School of Mass Communication. Dean Todd Queen, College of Music and Dramatic Arts. Dean Cynthia Peterson, College of Science. Dean Joel Baines, School of Veterinary Medicine. President Alexander, I am pleased to recognize the candidates for the bachelor's degree and post-baccalaureate certificate. Will all the candidates for baccalaureate degrees and post-baccalaureate certificates please rise and remain standing. <laughs> Mr. Amateur, these candidates have been certified by their deans and colleges, and on behalf of the faculty of Louisiana State University, it is my indeed great pleasure and privilege to present them to you for their conferral of their degrees. With the authority vested in me by the Louisiana State University Board of Supervisors, I confer upon each of you the appropriate baccalaureate degree and post-baccalaureate certificate with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations to you all. At this time, tradition dictates that you move your tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left side to signify your new status as a graduate of Louisiana State University. A round of applause for these graduates. You may be seated. Dr. Michelle Massey, Dean of the Graduate School, will now present the candidates for advanced and professional degrees. Will all candidates for the various master's degrees and the Certificate of Education Specialist in the Graduate School please rise. President Alexander, I'm pleased to present these candidates who have complied with all requirements for their respective degrees. Mr. Amateur, on behalf of the faculty, it is my great pleasure to present these candidates to you for the conferral of their degrees. Again, with the authority vested in me by the Louisiana State University Board of Supervisors, I confer upon each of you 
the appropriate degree or certificate with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations. Congratulations, you may be seated. For doctoral students, the role of a mentor is of critical importance. Typically, ranging from five to seven years in length, doctoral studies are demanding and require students to focus intently on a particular area of study. The candidate's major professor, assisted by other members of the faculty, closely guides students through their research writing, providing a trusted sounding board both academically and professionally along the way. Each of our doctoral students who crosses the stage today is accompanied by their mentor, usually their major professor, or a representative from their department or program. That individual will assist in the hooding of his or her student with a doctoral hood, which serves as a symbol of a student's full membership into the Fellowship of Academia. Dean Massey, would you please present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Musical Arts? Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Musical Arts please stand? President Alexander, in recognition of the, of the completion of all requirements for the degree of Doctor of Musical Arts, I am pleased to present these candidates to you. Allison Elizabeth Allerton, accompanied by Professor John Dixon. Alvaro Angulo, accompanied by Professor Dennis Parker. Lauren May Brown, accompanied by Professor Dennis Jesse. Elida Dacoli, accompanied by Professor Michael Gert. Perla Del Rocio Fernandez Lopez, accompanied by Professor Lynn He. Arija Amalie Gilmore, accompanied by Professor Seth Orgel. <laughs> Yoon Hui Lai, accompanied by Professor Gregory Seolis. Christopher Daniel Lowry, accompanied by Professor Dinos Constantinides. Gustavo Miranda, accompanied by Professor Brett Dietz. William Floyd Plummer, accompanied by Professor Lynn Ha. <laughs> Ethan Lloyd Rogers, accompanied by Professor Gregory Seolis.
Michelle. Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy please stand? <laughs> President Alexander, in recognition of the completion of all requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, I am pleased to present these candidates to you. Mr. Amateur, these candidates have shown that they are worthy of receiving the highest degree that is awarded by the university. And on behalf of the faculty, I'm pleased to present them to you. Graduates, again with the authority vested in me by the Louisiana State University Board of Supervisors, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations. I ask our new PhD graduates and their sponsors to please approach the platform. As your name is called, please come forward to be vested with the hood and to receive your diploma. Timothy Daniel Allerton, accompanied by Professor Neil Johansson. Gabriel Andres Arce Amador, accompanied by Professor Marwa Hassan. Lester Adrian Charles Archer, accompanied by Professor S. Kim McGregor. David James Brokaw, accompanied by Professor Charles Shindo. <laughs> Margaret Ann Callahan, accompanied by Professor Barbara Heffron. Eva Cristina Caspari, accompanied by Professor Judy Warnat. Amy Lynn Catania, accompanied by Professor Dorota Hennigan. Yu Wu Chen, accompanied by Professor Michael Benton. Myung Ji Chun, accompanied by Professor Hyo Jung Park. Christina M. Kuvert, accompanied by Professor Roland W. Mitchell. Nicole Marie Costantini, accompanied by Professor Patricia Succi. Marilyn Sibiel Dalin, accompanied by Professor Brenda Tubana. Nicholas Thomas Davis, accompanied by Professor James C. Garand.
Vicki Jean Davis, accompanied by Professor Barbara Heffron. Dagoberto Diaz Cortez, accompanied by Professor Michael F. Burnett. Errol Keith Domaine, accompanied by Professor Roland Mitchell. Lauren Marie Doty, accompanied by Professor Mirabel Dietz. Mark Frederick Ellers, accompanied by Professor Charles Shindo. Adam Christopher Elder, accompanied by Professor Kina Arbuthnot. <laughs> Kasra Fatah Hesari, accompanied by Professor Dimitris Nikotopoulos. Patrick Benjamin Fennell, accompanied by Professors Roland W. Niedrich and Dan Hamilton Rice. DeChantel Fields, accompanied by Professor Lori Martin. Richard Alexander Franca, accompanied by Professor Oliver Dasbach. <laughs> Christina Suzette Gibby, accompanied by Professor Andrea Morris. Derry Lachey Green, accompanied by Professor Frederick Weil. <laughs> Ali Hadadpur, accompanied by Professor Georges Veronis. Victoria Nicole Harrington, accompanied by Professor Andrew Sluter. Julie Johanna Enriquez, accompanied by Professor Petra Robinson. Mary Frances Hidalgo, accompanied by Professor Jennifer Curry. Zachary Lane Highland, accompanied by Professor Jane C. Garno. Andrew Robert Holmes, accompanied by Professor Patrick Gilmer. Yeah. 
Pengyi Huang, accompanied by Professor Adelaide Rousseau. Megan Reed Jackson, accompanied by Professor Dennis Landon. Tara Nicole Jonell, accompanied by Professor Peter D. Clift. Kundan Kadam, accompanied by Professor Jeffrey C. Clayton. Peter Gugi Kamau, accompanied by Professor Andrew Slaughter. Brandon Kotsier, accompanied by Professors Malcolm Richardson and Barbara Hefferon. John William Kitch II, accompanied by Professor James Stoner. Danielle Jan Klein, accompanied by Professor Roland Mitchell. Eric Brian Lacey, accompanied by Professor Dinos Constantinides. Matthew Mark Lastner, accompanied by Professor Judith Ann Gerritsen False. Nerissa Abigail Lewis, accompanied by Professor Louis Marzilli. Surabi Maheshwari, accompanied by Professor Louis Marsili. Missy Malone, accompanied by Professor Pamela Monroe. Sahar Marafat Navas, accompanied by Professor J. Ramanajam. Benjamin Matthew McKnight, accompanied by Professor Eric P. Webster. Chan Li Meng, accompanied by Professor Grasa Vicente. Derek Charles Mikatinas, accompanied by Professor Georgiana Turi. Jose Eduardo Milla, accompanied by Professor Marwa Hassan. (laughs) 
Harold Curtis Mims, accompanied by Professor Dinos Constantinides. Kahila Moktari Jadid, accompanied by Professor Paula Waltrich. <laughs> Regan Patrick Mitchell, accompanied by Professor Petra Hendry. Lauren Land Morris, accompanied by Professor Craig Colton. Ramon Morad, accompanied by Professor Pallavi Rostogi. Paulina Wangi, accompanied by Professor Mauricio Almeida. Tong T. Wen, accompanied by Professor Eugene Kennedy. Erin Lee Oberhaas, accompanied by Professor Donald L. Thompson, Jr. <laughs> Jia Yun Pan, accompanied by Professor Rong Ying Jing. Changyun Park, accompanied by Professor Norman Massau. <laughs> Brian Lyle Peterson, accompanied by Professor Gerald Baumgartner. Raquel Irene Polanco, accompanied by Professor Tracy Stevenson Schaefer. Rashanik DeAndrea Quarles, accompanied by Professor Justin Reagans. Mohammed Sagahyashan, accompanied by Professor E. W. Plummer. <laughs> Bekash Deep Sakya, accompanied by Professor Dandina Rao. Melissa Sanadi, accompanied by Professor Judith Sylvester. <laughs> Josiele Santos Rezende, accompanied by Professor Ji Wan Chen.
Parichar Saranjampur, accompanied by Professor Kevin Armbrest. Asim Shretha, accompanied by Professor Helmut Schneider. Eduardo Chagas Ferreira da Silva, accompanied by Professor Raymond W. Schneider. Shalanda Michelle Skidmore, accompanied by Professor Lori Martin. <laughs> Henry Eric Smith, accompanied by Professor Joey Blackburn. Ming Shuao Sui, accompanied by Professor Martin Johnson. Drew Kennedy Thompson, accompanied by Professor Cecil Eubanks. Mohamed A. Tohid, accompanied by Professor Ramona John. <laughs> Selena Raquel Trahan, accompanied by Professor Petra Robinson. Michael Perrin Toulier, accompanied by Professor John A. Poman. Marissa Beth Walker, accompanied by Professor Gabriela Gonzalez. Chang Wang, accompanied by Professor Poemin. <laughs> Xu Wen, accompanied by Professor S. Kim McGregor. Sarah Kerrigan Wooten, accompanied by Professors Roland W. Mitchell and Kina Arbuthnot. Kimberly Faye Williams, accompanied by Professor Petra Robinson. Kian Chi Young, accompanied by Professor Jishang Li. <laughs> Lu 
Ri Zhang, accompanied by Professor Axian Hu. Yi Zhang, accompanied by Professor Ji Zhang Li. A round of applause for these new graduates, please. <laughs> Mr. Van Oy, CEO and LSU of the LSU Alumni Association, would you care to address our graduates? Yes, I would. Thank you, Dr. Alexander. <laughs> On behalf of every graduate worldwide, Congratulations and welcome to the awesome LSU Tiger Nation. Now the fun begins. The LSU Alumni Association has 135 chapters around the United States and the world that provide camaraderie and fun and help you keep that special LSU spirit alive. For example, this spring and summer, we offered alumni crawfish boils in, from New York to Miami and from Seattle to San Diego. And almost every parish in Louisiana hosts several different outstanding events. Now let me give you one example. In two weeks, we'll celebrate the 29th anniversary of the crawfish boil in a little place called San Diego, California. Well, they started with about 15 people 29 years ago. Two weeks from now, there will be 4,500 people show up for a crawfish boil. That's 11 tons of crawfish. <laughs> and we won't talk about how many gallons of beer that is. So you ask, you know, that's great to have all these parties, but what does that do for LSU? Well, over the years, $3.8 million worth of funds have been returned to LSU to endow scholarships for outstanding future alumni to come to LSU and study and graduate and do the same things you've done. So the moral to the story is no matter where you are, the LSU spirit is with you. And I'd encourage each and every one of you to Seek out and join your local alumni chapter. Network with your fellow graduates and become involved in alumni association chapter leadership. It will benefit you in many ways. You'll be amazed at how many friends you make immediately and the business connections you'll make. Now, for those of you who have the tradition of the LSU ring, now's the time to take your ring off it's the LSU's been facing you this whole time. Take that LSU ring off, put it on so the encrusted LSU faces the world. You'll, uh, you'll make sure that you'll make an impression on all those that you meet. Now, the second thing is, if you were listening to what jo Governor John Bell Edwards was saying, he encouraged you to be an advocate for education and for LSU. So we have a program called Tiger Advocates. We incur it's free, and we encourage you to reach out, touch base with your <laughs> legislators to let them know how important LSU is, 
and what it does for the state of Louisiana. They need to hear from you, the voters, the people who care and love LSU. And one last thing, when you return to campus, make sure you look up a favorite professor or, or a, an administrator or an advisor, and you look them up and find them and go talk to them and let them know how much you appreciate what they've done for you over the years and their service to LSU. Now, in closing, I encourage you to look to successful Tigers for guidance. Our keynote speaker, fellow LSU graduate, John Bell Edwards, decided long ago he would be second to none in what he did and his success. So, now it is your time to show the world just how great an LSU graduate can be. Go out and get them, Tigers. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, it is my honor to present to you LSU's May 2017 Class of 2017 graduating class. Please join me with a round of applause. Also, once again, if you would join me in a round of applause for Governor Edwards to come and take his time to support their, these graduates each and every day throughout his gubernatorialship. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you all again for joining us this morning. For our undergraduates and others, I want you to know throughout the day, make sure you go to your college ceremonies as well. They will run till 8 o'clock tonight. You know the time and the place throughout campus. And if you would please stand, we hope that all of you will enjoy your diploma and your diploma ceremonies throughout the day and make sure you participate as much as possible with your family members. Now, if you would please stand for the Louisiana State University alma mater, I invite you to turn to the last page of your program to join Dr. Brown. And graduates, if you would please remain standing after the performance until the platform party has exited the arena. Congratulations. Thank you. 
Thank you. 